Hey, sneaky nose back tonight. Tonight we've got NTX 8.5 beta base. Base meaning it's just the basics. Now normally we just go for the live CD and have a little look around and that's all I'll show you. But what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to actually install it for you as we go. So you right click it and it goes down to the install section under admin, put your password in which is root because you're running from the CD. That's the basic password you need. You change it later. You hover the terms, yes, and you click next now. Mepis has this works license that's, well, I'll, I'll let you decide on it, but considering it's uh, supposed to be free, well, it's free for personal use, but not free for commercial. But there's lots of other things in it that I don't really like, but hey, let's install it anyway. Anyway, you just accept it and do auto install, and you create a disk, it will make your swap partitions for you. Here we go. Formats the root position. This is the really boring bit, really. It goes on and on and on. I say it goes on. It only takes around about six to ten minutes to actually install the whole system. So obviously I'm going to cut some of that out because I'd be sitting there and I'd run out of things to talk about. Wouldn't I? So I'll let it format the root. Then you can see on the screen there, there's little messages come up. Like in most distros now, you can have a read. Copies the new system over. I'm about to cut the bit now, so we go right to the end. Copy the new system over. Lovely. Super duper. Yes. Yeah, just read down there. It says stuff about managing your iPod in Amrock. Because Amrock comes with it as standard. Now it's the base CD. So basically you just get all the basics. You don't get nothing else. Mm, keep that in mind. Install Grub for Antics and Windows. Yes. Keep them all OK. Just follow it. Don't change anything. And click Next. And we wait a bit. Is it OK to install Grub? Of course it is. Because that's what we want to do. So you click OK, it takes a few seconds, and all of a sudden it will pop up, Grub installed OK. So you click OK again, just leave it as it is, otherwise we'll go into it too much. Normally with the other NTX, which is about a 400 meg download, you get more or more options, but this is the base and it's only 260. You can name your computer network names, but I'm going to leave it as it is, it's just a demonstration for you lot. But I do need to change the keyboard, and I'll change the keyboard to UK and the locale to GB. So that's that done. Oh yes, and my clock does use GMT, so we want to do that. We then click Next and go to the next section. So as you can see, really, really quick. So login name. So you put your default login name you want to use. Here we go, I'll put Sneaky in. And your default user password. So I'll just put one random one in. There you go. And the other one. And now you need to put a root one in too. So you just choose another one, confirm it again, and click on next. There we go. Simple or simple, as they say. But now we've finished. All over. And normally you reboot the system, but I'm not going to reboot it just yet. But basically, that's how you install NTX. We'll come back in a minute. <laughs> 